Okay, so you reached part three of the mirror application. Great job, you are almost done. Here are some tips for you so that you can present your best self in the last part of our application. We can't stress enough how important it is to quantify what you achieved. You can even do mathematical calculations to show the measurability of your impact. Don't just show evidence, provide good evidence. This means presenting multiple, diverse pieces of evidence for each accomplishment. Be it reference letters from your teachers, links to social media accounts or websites you created, or any other supporting documents, more evidence is always a good idea. Include projects you worked on that you find value in, no matter how small they seem. Don't make the mistake of entirely relying on academic competitions. Showcase your personal projects and accomplishments too. Did you babysit your sibling every day after school? Or maybe you organized dog parent meetups in your city? We want to hear all about it. Start your sentences with active verbs, such as created, organized, fundraised. Be confident, you have already achieved so much. There is no need to use overly complicated language. Focus on impressing with the greatness of your accomplishments, not the complexity of your vocabulary. Numbers are a key, but you know what's equally important? Elaborating on the impact these accomplishments had on you and on those around you. What was the result of your work? Tell us all about it. We have no doubt that you have already achieved many beautiful things. If you find yourself needing to prioritize, pick the accomplishments that prove your initiative instead of those that show your participation. Extra tip, make your accomplishments as diverse as possible and let your many-sided personality shine. I hope these tips have been useful and perhaps you even feel more confident about your accomplishments. Good luck with your application!